The Football Story 2030 Inch presents a football legend, Romario de Souza Faria, better known simply as Romario. Born in Rio de Janeiro on January 29, 1966, he is a former footballer, sports executive, and Brazilian politician. A prolific and technically skilled forward, ambidextrous, fast, and specialized in body feints, he was very dangerous near the opponent's area and lethal near the goal. He was nicknamed by Xinho, Shorty, due to his small stature, despite being physically strong. He started playing football at the age of 10 for the Estrelinha de Vila de Pena team, a club founded by his father. In 1979, he joined the junior team of Alaria, then in the Brazilian Serie A. There he was discovered by Vasco da Gama, making his Serie A debut in 1985 and winning two Rio State Championships, 1987 and 1988, and two state top scorer titles, 1986 and 1987. In 1988, he was signed by PSV, where he stayed for five years, winning three league titles, two national cups, and a Dutch Super Cup. With PSV, he played a total of 148 matches, scoring 128 goals, and also won two league top scorer titles, 1990 and 1991. On July 14, 1993, he was transferred for $10 million to Barcelona in Spain, joining Johan Cruijff's stream team, which was modifying the team's playing style based on small, agile, and highly technical players. In his debut season with Barcelona, he won the Primera División title and concurrently became the Pichichi of the tournament, scoring an impressive 30 goals in 33 matches. With five hat-tricks in a single season, he set a record for the Spanish top flight, later surpassed by Lionel Messi in 2011-2012. In European competition, Barcelona reached the UEFA Champions League final in Athens, but was defeated by AC Milan with a score of 4-0. Towards the end of the season, in May 1994, Romario experienced the drama of his father's kidnapping in Brazil, eventually released. Upon returning from the World Cup with an 18-day delay, and being fined 10 million pesetas at the explicit request of coach Cruage, the player entered into controversy with the club, demanding to be transferred. Romario had a shadowy first part of the following season, with only four goals scored, although he scored three goals and five appearances in the UEFA Champions League. On January 7, 1995, he made his last appearance for Barcelona in the defeat against Real Madrid, 5-0, at Bernabeu, where he was left on the bench and only entered the field in the second half, with the score at 3-0 for the Madrid team. Three days later, his transfer to Flamengo, for $7 million, was officially announced. In two seasons with Barca, Romario scored 34 goals in 46 league matches and 39 in 65 total matches. Returning to Flamengo shortly after announcing his retirement from professional play, he won the Rio State Championship in 1996 and the top scorer title with 26 goals. In the same year, he returned to Spain, this time to Valencia, for 19 billion lire. He scored six goals in 12 matches, but in the summer of 1997, with the arrival of coach Claudio Ranieri, Romario changed clubs again. He returned to Flamengo, winning the Rio State Championship for the fourth time, 1999, and two top scorer titles in the state league. He also participated in the Mercosur Cup finishing as the top scorer with eight goals. Including his previous experience with Flamengo, Romario played 213 matches and scored 185 goals. On November 16, 1999, he terminated his contract and returned to Vasco da Gama, where in 2000, he won the Brazilian championship, Copa João Havlang, and the top scorer title, both nationally and in the state of Rio. He conquered the Mercosur Cup, with an incredible comeback in the final from 0-3 to 4-3 to to thanks to his hat-trick and a decisive goal in the 93rd minute. He was also crowned the top scorer of the tournament and won the South American Footballer of the Year award. In 2001, he was again the top scorer of the Brazilian Championship. In 2002, Romário joined Fluminense. In the league, he scored 16 goals, and the team from Rio de Janeiro finished fourth. In 2003, he attempted an adventure in Qatar, but it was short-lived, three matches, no goals, 
and a $1.7 million salary. In May, he returned to Fluminense, which finished 19th in the league. Romario scored five goals, and in 2004, the tricolor team finished ninth in the league. Overall, with Fluminense, he had 75 appearances and 47 goals. Approaching 40, he returned to Vasco da Gama, winning the national top scorer title in 2005. In April 2006, Romario moved to the U.S. club Miami FC, managed by his compatriots and where former Brazil international Zinho also played. He participated in the USL Championship with the Florida team, scoring 19 goals in 26 matches. He then signed a contract with Adelaide United. From October 9, 2006, to achieve the goal of a thousand career goals in official matches, Romario, in fact, played simultaneously for Tupi in the city of Juiz de Fora, in the state of Minas Gerais. The football legend played some matches with the Brazilian Serie C team, playing on Thursdays in Brazil and Sundays in Australia, despite a 12-hour time difference between the two countries. In January 2007, he returned to Vasco da Gama, playing 19 matches and scoring 15 goals. In total, with Vasco da Gama, he had 348 matches and 265 goals. Later, he took on the dual role of player coach until 2008. On April 15, 2008, Romario hung up his boots and permanently left the football fields at the age of 42. The team retired his number 11 jersey. After a year and a half of retirement, he returned to the field for 25 minutes on November 26, 2009, just in time to win the second division Carioca Championship. In December 2009, his friend and former national teammate Bebeto hired him as the team's coach to bring the team back to Serie A. He ended his club career with 690 goals in 895 appearances. On the international stage, Romario made his debut with the youth national team, participating in the 1988 Olympics, winning the top scorer title with seven goals. With the senior national team, he participated in the 1990 World Cup in Italy without scoring a goal. In 1994, Romario was a key figure in Brazil's victory in the World Cup in the United States, scoring five goals and being elected the tournament's best player. Romario took part in various editions of the Copa America, winning it in 1989 and 1997, and also triumphed in the 1997 Confederations Cup becoming the top scorer of the tournament with seven goals. On April 27, 2005, after 70 matches and 55 goals, Romario announced his farewell to the Brazilian national team. Individually, considered one of the best players in the history of football, he ranks 26th in the special list of the best footballers of the 20th century published by World Soccer Magazine and 30th in the ranking of the best South American footballers of the 20th century published by the IFFHS in 2004. In March 2004, Pelé also included him in the FIFA 100, the list of the top 125 living footballers, drawn up on the occasion of the FIFA centennial.